Hello, my name is Jay and welcome back to my tech vault. And today we're going to be talking about the rumored Ryzen 3000 series. And so we've got a long list of really, really uh, suggestive and supportive uh, quotes and I guess just the situations that really support more than eight cores on Ryzen. Actually a, a pretty substantial core bump, which if you're unfamiliar with the rumors that are going on right now, kind of suggest that. So if you look at some of these quotes from the CEO of AMD, and you look at these rumors, they line up pretty well, which means that I would pretty much say that this is strong, very strongly supporting these rumors, and we're going to go over those today. So first off, uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of background of where I'm pulling these from. Um, so after the press con or after the presentation of the keynote at CES 2019 on last Wednesday, they um, at a press conference afterwards. Obviously, I wasn't there. Um, I didn't get invited. I'm, I'm a small little YouTuber. Um, but there was a press conference, and I'm going to be pulling from one of the people that was there, um, a website called PC World that had somebody there. And they're just, I'm just basically going to just take the quotes from what they said she said, and I'm going to dissect them. Obviously, you know, I don't wasn't there for the situational thing, so I don't know, you know, what she was uh, acting like or you know any of the psychological stuff. But I do know that what the quotes are here, and we have quotes, and these quotes are pretty strongly supporting these rumors. And so um, I'm just going to basically be reading those quotes off and kind of dissecting them, what they mean, and a little bit of the background story and why they're so significant to me. And obviously, you'll also see why they're kind of significant in supporting these rumors. So to start off, I'm going to start off with a pretty strong one. And this is this when I started reading these, I was really hyped up because this really does really support these rumors. Um, so here, here goes. I'm quoting here. If you look at the evolution of Ryzen, we've always had an advantage in core count. And this was said by Lisa Sue. So... You're thinking, well, what does that mean? Intel has the i7, which eight cores, eight threads, and AMD has the Ryzen 7, uh, eight cores, uh, 16 threads. Now, 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 listen to how this is worded. Always have an advantage in core count. That doesn't mean threads. AMD has eight, Intel has eight. On the i7 or Ryzen 7 platform, we'll just call that the seven area. They have an equal, equal balance, I guess. They're both about the same. Which means that these rumors that are suggesting 12 cores, 24 threads, would mean that they would have an advantage on these Ryzen, this next gen Ryzen series. So we can all take and you know think about that how we'd like. Also, I'm going to talk about uh, moving on to the head-to-head -head comparison. Uh, sorry, quote unquote, head-to-head -head comparison of core counts. And what she's doing is she's referring to the um, with a de demonstration of the benchmarking where she went through and she did the um, eight core, 16 thread, 9900K versus the Ryzen. Uh, 3000 series, uh, 8 cores, 16 threads, and they performed about the same, the Ryzen actually came out slightly ahead, which either means higher IPC or higher core counts, either one really good stuff. And so, now obviously, the way that this is kind of worded is head-to-head -head comparison. It's not like we're taking the best um, option from AMD and putting that there, or we're not taking the worst option. That really doesn't, a lot of people thought that that actually kind of condemns the idea that, um, that that's the highest model. I and obviously it null and voids the rumors. I don't think that's so. I think they wanted to have something that it didn't get people too excited because I think they're waiting kind of to release something really hyped up. And that's my opinion though. I think they're really just trying to wait and get something that's so groundbreaking that everyone gets really excited about. Um, and so that's what they did is they chose to just do the eight cores, 16 threads to evenly match it. So it looked like that, you know, they've caught up and now they're working for even farther to, you know, beat it. Um, and then here's the, here's the really interesting thing. So a little bit of the background for this next part is um, Lisa Su held up a Ryzen 3000 chip. And if you're unfamiliar, these and this is what this is referring to, uh, it had about a um, IO die, and then it had the actual cores and threads and things like that, a little smaller chip, and that was on 14 and that was on seven nanometers. And so basically, there was a lot of room for another die for some more cores. There was a lot, there was, there was a substantial amount that it easily could have been done uh, if you looked at that. And this is what they asked her, and this is what, you know, the quote I'm going to read. Um, so she said, some may have noticed on the package some extra room, she said with a chuckle. There is some extra room on that package, and I think you might expect we will have more than eight cores. So, I mean, she did say no, and she didn't say yes either, but the way that's worded, uh, the extra... You may have noticed, she brought attention to it. She could have not brought attention to it at all. She could have just left it be, or she could have, you know, downplayed the question. But she, she kind of purposely pointed out that, and then said, uh, you know, there's some extra room on there. 
uh, and I think you might expect we have a, a little more than uh, eight cores. Uh, that's not what directly, but you know, expect we might have more than eight cores. She didn't say yes, but she brought attention to it, and she she actually like went the way that she did this is she brought a lot of attention to it, and it's been a good. Actually, this is the longest quote that we have that has, really has substantial significance, and so. Honestly, I, I don't think if in the position of AIM, or Lisa Sue, if she wanted to go through and, you know, downplay it, and this was the best option she had, and, you know, she showed it off, and that was, you know, going to be for the graphics or something, you know, that would be different. And, but no, she, she brought attention to it, and it, and it really was quite interesting. And the other thing I want to talk about is those graphics. There was a lot of questions brought up in the news about, hey, is that going to be room for graphics? And she's, and I guess from AMD, the res overall response from AMD is no, that's not going to be for graphics. So that really, really raises some questions then. If we've got this big amount of space, Lisa Sue has brought attention to it. The CEO of AMD has said, hey, we always have more cores. Uh, we've, we've got, obviously there's uh, enough room for another uh, set of cores. Um, and you know, we might, you might expect that we have more than eight cores. And she brings attention to it, and that's not graphics. I, I, I don't know, like, what evidence. That's pretty strongly supporting the idea that we're going to be getting some overpowered um, AMD uh, processors next uh, in Q2 of this year, which I'm, I'm really actually hyped for. So, honestly, if you look at this overall thing, the reason why I want to make this video is because this is actually really, really supportive of these rumors. And obviously at the press conference, I was watching it live. I actually had a live stream that I was reacting and talking about it. And we had this nice little press conference and there wasn't really anything about Ryzen. It was really just a quick benchmark and that was it. And that was a little disappointing because I think everybody was really hyped up for some actual announcements of Ryzen, um, especially with its really supposed release date super close. Um, but if you look at it, we've got some really nice impressive uh, leaks that are coming out that almost at the, when I first looked at them actually looked unbelievable and now you take a look at it and you've got something that's you've got the CEO saying some very uh, you know supportive stuff for these rumors um, but not so much that she you know I, I think they're still working on the development so they don't know what they can actually produce so she doesn't want to commit to it all the way um, but I think that that's th those rumors are very very likely at this point especially looking at what we looked at today in this video and also some of the other stuff that's going on that's really showing that there's a lot of, it's a possible, it's well within possibility, and I think it's very likely uh, from some of the things that she said, uh, if she was, if she, you know, if those, what, of course, what we're the leaks, I guess, if the quotes we're getting are true, um, then, yeah, that will be very, very interesting. So thank you very much for watching today. Check out my channel for other cool tech-related news, videos, reviews, and I've been following this Ryzen thing uh, for the last couple of weeks. So if you're interested, I've been kind of doing a whole set of videos on this, kind of following this, because I'm really actually excited about it. So make sure you check that out and just go through and uh, take a look and uh, all those videos. And uh, I also do a few builds every once in a while, but thank you very much for watching. Uh, and also I have Discord servers in the description if you're interested in tech or things like that. I want to talk with this with me. As always, thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.